Hello and welcome to the tutorial of .NET Core using Entity Framework Core. This is a getting started video, so in this video I will cover the goal of the project and won't do much regarding the specific code. So if you're looking for something to specific to find out regarding Entity Framework or .NET Core, you might want to check out the rest of the videos. Anyway, so as a project for this, we are going to create a database of Counter Strike Global Offensive skins and collections. Many of you maybe don't play Counter Strike, but I do. I'm a Counter Strike player. This is something I relate to, so it was easiest way of selecting a project that I actually want to work on and that is a good start if you if you want to get into something it's better to start from something that you already love and try to utilize that inside your project so each weapon has a skin its skin has a specific quality specific rarity specific and it comes from a specific collection so first before I even started doing the code first approach in entity framework code first approach basically means that you type the code you type normal C sharp classes and they automatically get migrated to an actual SQL database by entity framework that's the whole point of entity framework it does things for you it's data access middleware let's say inside access I have created a database schema so we have a weapon it has a name it has a description and it has a type type of weapon let's say SMG rifle sniper pistol knife whatever it has a, its ID type ID is a foreign key ID is a primary key here the type has a display name what I already said and now each weapon has a skin skin belongs to a collection that has a name Skin, skin has a name, skin has a description, skin maybe has a developer or designer commentary, it belongs to a weapon, it has a weapon ID, it has a rarity ID, and inside a rarity, these are basically lookup tables. These three and this one, they are lookup tables. The quality has a specific display name and it has a color. And each skin can be pristine or ruined, the, basically the skin itself, it's called exterior and inside Counter-Strike it goes from factory new to battle scarred. Okay so this is the base database schema that will work for this kind of project and in the next video we will actually get to coding the database. Right now I will just explain how the project is set up. So the project is let's say let's try a new one ASP.NET Core Web Application.NET Core. It's not .NET Framework, it's .NET Core. And when you create the project, you have to select no authentication because there's no login here, you don't have to authenticate yourself. And once the project is set up, you have to go to References, Manage NuGet Packages, and from here you will have to install Entity Framework. So from browse just find entity framework but you will need entity framework core which is already installed if I'm not mistaken yes entity framework core already installed if not install it you will need this you can always find it here as Microsoft dot entity framework core and it will have all of the stuff it needs when you do that just create a new folder called data create a new file called create a new file by right clicking add class and create a file called app db context this is going to be the file that will have all of our database models as classes inside of it we'll get to this in the next video 